All right, let's talk top five losers from the Vikings' loss to the Bengals. All right, welcome back to One Bar and Lepagus Show. I am Lepagus. One Bar is ill and didn't even watch the game, so I don't know how he is sick. But I'm here, and I'm going to talk with five losers from that game. And this one's tough, man. I'm having a hard time getting over this loss. This one really stung, but we're going to talk about five losers and even a bonus loser. So uh, let's hop into it after you. If you have not yet done it, hop on and hit that subscribe button. Uh, we are closing in on 10,400. Cannot wait to get there. So let's talk about Let's just go uh, start with a player. Let's go with Makai Blackman, a rookie corner who has been good all year, but uh, a play this game, one that ended up being very crucial. Uh, Jake Browning pressured, kind of turns around, just heaves the ball blindly in the direction of uh, T. Higgins. Akil Bevins is on the coverage, and uh, he goes up to get it. Makai Blackman is about three yards away, standing, watching. He's watching. Uh, if he goes over there and hits him, He's going to be able to bounce. It's going to be an incompletion. If he goes up, tries to knock the ball away, that's two guys against one. No, Makai Blackman has his hands on his fucking hips watching. Uh, he even said on Twitter that like, he thought it was an interception, so he didn't do anything, and he is full of regret for what he did. But, my God, come on. That was a huge play in the game. That would have been the ball game. I think that was a fourth down play. That is, I think that's when I tied up at 24, and uh, we go to overtime, we end up losing. So, Makai Blackman, come on, man. That was horrible. <clears throat> Never just stand and watch. Absolutely embarrassing to see that happen. Uh, let's go with the guy. I don't think somebody on this list very often. I don't know if he ever has before, but Christian Darris, our left tackle, uh, kind of had a rough one. A lot of pressure coming from his side. Uh, Nick Mullins was sacked a few times. Let me just see exactly how many that was. But a lot of those pressures were coming over Christian Darris. Uh, uh, he took. He was sacked uh, three times, and uh, young quarterback, not young quarterback, but inexperienced backup. You want to make sure he's protected, feeling good back there. He was feeling pressure. A lot of it had to do because Christian Darius did, did not have a good game today. So, uh, again, uh, one of the best young tackles in the league. Just wasn't his day in Cincinnati. Uh, let's go to the guy I already talked about, Caleb Evans. Um, rough game. He had a rough start. Like the Bengals drove down the field in their first drive. A lot of it was because they were attacking at Caleb Evans. Wasn't able to make the play. Sometimes he was in position. Sometimes he wasn't. Didn't matter. Usually a completion. And then again at the end, uh, it was again, it was a it was a blind heave. Like Jake Browning didn't even see Higgins. He just turned around through it. Uh looked like Kevin Evans had an easy chance to pick that thing off. Uh again, out muscled outside by T. Higgins. Could not get the ball. And uh a big part of this loss falls on the shoulders of a Caleb Evans. So uh just not holding up his part on the back end of this defense. So Caleb Evans. Not great. Let's go over to uh, some coaches. Uh, Brian Flores, uh, again, great defensive performance through three quarters, held the Bengals to three points. And then what the hell happens? Like, we're at the point where we're like, this defense, if you get, you know, a, a two-score lead, it's over. It's over. But no, because we had uh, a two-touchdown lead, and we blew it in the fourth quarter. 21 points in the fourth quarter. Are you kidding me? What the hell, Brian Flores? This is not what we – just saw the last couple of weeks. This is not what we were fed. It's not what we believe. Uh, Brian Flores, the defense, failed the Vikings in this game. There's no question about it. And he's the man calling the plays, calling the shots, so it falls on him. And Brian Flores never expected you to be on this loser's list, especially the way your defense has been playing. But, boy, did they fail today against the Bengals yesterday, I guess. But they failed big time. Uh, so Flores definitely deserves to be on this list and a guy who's been on this list many times. And I think you can now contribute about five direct losses to him. Kevin O'Connell, uh, what the hell are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, well, it was like second in inches. He tried three times with this tush push with a 115 pound wide receiver being the guy pushing. You have a running back who's run over 400 yards, averaging like, what the hell was he averaging? Let's just five minutes here. He was averaging 5.7 yards to carry. And you give it to your quarterback with a 150 pound receiver pushing him three times in a row. Cost you the game. All you need to get was a half an inch there. Try something else. It didn't work the first time. Try something else. If it doesn't work, then go back to the third time. Don't go three times in a fucking row. Absolutely embarrassing. This is like the third time we've seen KLC just blow a game. This is very similar to the Bears game. All you needed was a couple yards, a couple inches here. You get that. It's first down. You can run, the, you can run a few more plays, get a little closer to field goal range, and kick the field goal, win the game. Uh, no. 
we, we can't get to half an inch because he's con- calling some stupid ass tush push that isn't even something that we do uh, with your back of quarterback and 150 pound wide receiver. It's absolutely inexcusable. It's embarrassing. And I hope he really, I uh, hope he didn't sleep last night. hope he didn't sleep all week uh, because this was unacceptable and it was just downright embarrassing. So again, a, a game the Vikings showed him on. They don't win because a lot of these losers are on this list. A bonus loser just for shits and giggles. I don't know if you guys uh, saw the celebration when they threw the ball up, hits and they all fall down. Jay Ward just stood there. He just stood there. And everybody else falls. And then about 30 seconds later, he falls down. So Jay Ward, uh, not our best rookie, and you suck at celebrating. So uh, that's your bonus bonus loser in this one. So those are your top five losers. Vikings uh, defeat in Cincinnati. Let me know if you got some more in the comments. And also remember to keep your skull in your hole.